Good morning, YouTube. Before we get into the video, please can you scroll down and smash that like button as it really does help a lot. And we can now start the video. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are we are doing my top five back exercises to grow your back, work on the thickness and really bring out that wide V taper. Um, so we're gonna go through five exercises. First one is cable lat pull downs. Right, so all you really need for this exercise is the cable machine, obviously. A straight bar, a bent bar, a long bar, just any bar that you can really hold with a wide grip. Right, so it's quite simple with this exercise. You just get a nice, good, wide grip, take a step back, keep a bend at the elbows, and pull the bar into your waist. Really try and feel the, um, the mind-muscle connection squeeze on your lats when you contract the muscle and get a good stretch on the upward phase. It's key to keep a straight back whilst doing it and keep your head at a neutral position. I know I keep looking down but you should always try and look forward whilst doing this. It just keeps the spine nice and neutral. Okay so the second exercise is the reverse grip lat pull down. Um, this machine right here I'm going to show you how to do it but we're going to do five sets of 12 reps um, fairly intense but we'll progressively overload so we'll, each set will add like a little bit of weight see how it feels really go off feeling because I've been out of the gym for a couple days so I really just judge how I feel right so if your gym does have one of these machines you should consider yourself lucky and should be using it on most of your back days it is an incredible machine to get like a really good connection on your back. As with like all exercises, you should try and keep the weight controlled. All reps should be controlled, no flinging about weight and stuff. But you can really see towards the end of my sets, I was swinging my body to get the weight down. That's a few cheat reps at the end, but like they still count and you're still getting the rep in, you're still getting a contraction in the muscle, so that's fine. But for the majority of your sets and reps, control the weight, don't let it control you. So, the third exercise is a low row machine, um, you'll see in the exercise, I don't know if it's actually that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it, um, a low row machine, uh, five sets of 12 reps, really focus on squeezing your lats um, when the muscle contracts and just really try to feel it as much as you can, I need a trim but we'll move on, um, yeah. Five sets, 12 reps, again. So with this chest supported low row, it's in the name chest supported. You should always try and keep your chest up against the pad at all times, just to really feel the contraction in your back and not be swinging at your body all over the gap. Just a little tip with uh, this movement. If you have one of these machines in your gym, definitely recommend using it. Um, but if you stand up, Instead of always sitting down on the on the seat, you can get a really good stretch in your lap when you uh, let the weight go down. Obviously control it, but get a really good stretch. I'll show you an example of me standing up while doing the reps, and then you can choose whether, try both, and then see what feels better for you. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you what it's like standing up. See, while standing up, as you're not seated anymore, um, you're getting a nicer, longer stretch, as I explained before, on your lat. So you see how low down my arm can go now, and I explode up and slowly let it back down again. But I can go further down than I would be able to while sitting. This is just another variation if you aren't really feeling the stretch while sitting down and doing the movement. So I'd recommend trying both, uh, seeing what works for you, what feels better for you. Because obviously at the end of the day, it's different for everyone, and you need to go off what your body is saying like what you're feeling um, so yeah I'd recommend trying both and then choosing one or maybe do a couple sets sitting a couple sets standing it's up to you but I do recommend trying it right so the fourth fourth the penultimate exercise is the cable row wide grip bar um, to really focus on the, 
the lat, so the, the thick, the width of your back. Um, again, five sets of, I think we're going to drop it down to ten. Five sets of ten, but you really squeeze the contraction at the back. Um, really try to feel it, my muscle connection and all that. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Right, so I just wanted to clear up that this machine is actually a single arm cable row machine, but I had to improvise as the normal one is broken today, so I had to attach this one bar to two things. Um, still managed to get a good connection, good contraction, all of that. Um, even though the range of motion was limited due to it being a smaller machine, we still managed to get through the set and work hard. I did actually hold my last rep for as long as I can to really get that connection. I think you'll see it here on this one. I hold it and then we finish the set there. Right, so normally I would consider swinging at, it, swinging at the hips as cheating, as a cheat rep, but in this case, as there is a short range of motion, I'm allowing it so that I can get a better, stronger stretch in the lats during the movement. That exercise number five now, um, cable rope face pulls. Sounds stupid, but it's a fucking great exercise for your rear delts and your back. Um, so again, five sets, 12 reps on these ones. Uh, don't go too heavy, control the reps. Hold the squeeze on both ends. Get the stretch, get the squeeze. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I do the exercise. I'll do it nice and slow so you guys can see. And then obviously go at your own pace and your own tempo. And yeah, let's get straight into it. Right, so with this exercise, as I said previously, keep it slow and controlled. The tempo that I would recommend going at is holding it with the squeeze for two seconds and at your face for three. So when this person walks past, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, etc. for each rep, just so you really feel that connection. I know I keep going on about feeling the connection, but that's the best part about doing these exercises is the connection. And quickly, if you like the outfit I'm wearing, the vest and the shorts, they are both from my sponsor, Pursue Fitness. Link in the bio to their, their website and use the code LAUNDA15 for 15% off at checkout. Right, so guys, this is a couple hours ahead in time. I've sat here editing a video, watching TV, editing a video, and about to do the outro. And I've realized the mic was not plugged in. So you can't hear what I'm saying. I just wanted to recap what I said in that and then we'll go back to past me. Um, I was just saying that the, all the exercises that are in this video I've put into my training and implemented for the past month and I've seen significant progress with strength, aesthetics of my back, width, everything is just coming together nicely obviously it's not where i want it to be nothing is where i want it to be yet but i'm happy with the progress i'm making and if you guys choose to put these into your programs into your personal training let me know let me know if they helped let me know if you think of any other good ones that you do um yeah that's basically what i just recapped in the gym but i'm now going to go back to past self a couple of hours ago where I'm showing you my post-workout meal of choice which you'll see um, but yeah I need to start checking if the mic is plugged in because this is getting really annoying right this is where we actually finish the video got my post-workout meal which you just saw me make um, oats with strawberries and blueberries and some syrup on top but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, hope these tips helped you, and yeah, I will actually catch you in the next video now. See you soon.